Lately, I've gotten some messages within my Discord and some in the comments of my YouTube videos about my particular mod list or something similar to get nearly instant playability for a Skyrim VR playthrough. Now, as much as I would love to compile my mod list for you all, it would take a while to do that because, well, it's a, it's like over 60 gigs and I don't have the time for that. <laughs> So, I want to redirect you all to an alternative that some new Skyrim VR players may not know exist, and some that do but may be skeptical about it, and that is Wabajack. As a matter of fact, I use a Wabajack list but altered and added with mods of my own, of which I will show you how to do, and <laughs> along with disclaimers. Before we go on any further into the video, I am your Soul Overlord, Soul BC, or Soul Obi- <laughs> or Soul Oboethius cunt. <laughs> I don't know how I came up with that, but I did. If you liked the video at any point in time or just found it insightful, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do. And I create content just like this, as well as other hilarity with other creators or me being by my lonesome and being a nut job. You can also follow me on other platforms with the link tree down below. If you want to chat with my fellow souls and I, go to the Soul Chamber, my Discord server. I also started a podcast with Gramsy called Compel Reality. So if you want to hear more VR scuff, then go there, take a listen. It's fairly interesting stuff. All links in the description. Now, what is Wabajack? Now, in the Elder Scrolls lore, the Wabajack is a Daedric artifact of Shirgorath, a staff of mystery that fires random spells. However, in this context, it's for mod lists. To clarify for the new folk, Wabajack is an automated mod list installer that can recreate entire lists and mod setups without actually having to create the mod list yourself. No need to go to Nexus to download a whole fuckload of mods or Lover's Lab if you are into that stuff. <laughs> the Wabajack installer can be used for a plethora of games, not just the topic at hand. Games like Fallout 4 VR, Morrowind, The Witcher 3, Enderal, and more are supported with this automated installer, and it works fairly well. But in this case, we're using it for Skyrim VR. The installed mod list use the mod organizer to mod manager. Now to install a mod list, it's actually rather simple, but to be brief, at least for this section of the video, each mod list has a readme file to guide you through a successful installation if you don't know what to do. You're even able to make your own list if you wish to, but at least for me, I, I do not have the time, and if I could get with somebody to help me with that, I totally would, but uh, again, I don't have the time for that, nor the patience for it. Uh, <laughs> well, I have patience, just not as much patience as this requires. However, if you're wanting to play along with one of your favorite YouTubers, or, or whatever, I don't know, you just want to play it, but it's up to you. I don't I don't know what you do. You can most certainly use these lists as a good base or hopefully they have the same Wabajack list as some do actually. That's just which is not too surprising. The installer will show official lists, but at the top you can select not safe for work lists and or unofficial lists. Also along the top is the game you want to select. In this case, we're going to go for Skyrim VR, but there are plenty of different games as you can see from the, the drop down menu. Currently, as of this video, there are six official lists and one unofficial list and one not safe for work list for Skyrim VR. If you hover over the list you're interested in, it will tell you the mod list version, the download size, and the installation size. So if you ain't got the space, make sure you got the space. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I gotta say. It tells you right there. I mean, it's kind of fine print, but it still tells you. So read. To get more information about these specific lists, click on the globe on the right side of the brief description of the list. It will show you to the readme file of that specific list on a GitHub link link and you can read through it and you can go through whatever you want within the wiki of that github page it's all up to you or you can just jump right in balls deep and not give a fuck on what you're reading now let me show you how to install that mod list of your choice when you open the launcher you may just see the logo and three options you want to select browse mod lists the left icon if you are prompted to log into Nexus or other sites, so do so now. Otherwise, wait for a moment while we go through the rest of the installation procedure, which is still rather simple. For this video, we're going to install the official list from Kengar and Kai Kaitist? Kaitkist? Kaitkvait? Kvait? Kvist? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if the V is silent, but I'm I, I'm guessing it is Kite Kissed. Anyway, it's called Fus, or F-U-S, or Fus, Fundamentals, Upgrades, and Stuff. Once you go to the mod list you want to download, select the Download Mod List button. You will be taken to the main page of that GitHub for that specific mod list, pertaining to all of its details, if it has any. Some don't, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Now, within the installer, once you select it, 
It will have the four buttons on the side, the readme, the website, the manifest, and discord. Now I highly recommend you join a discord if you have any issues with the Wobblejack installer because, well, I have almost no knowledge with the Wobblejack installer itself, but I know how to do everything else, sort of, kinda. So they're the better bet. Go to the Wobblejack discord for help with this particular stuff. Then to the right of the buttons, there are two fields, technically three, uh, you'll need to fill out if you want to install that list. The top one, you just ignore. And the bottom two is the installation folder and the download folder. Now these are personal preference, but for me, I wanted them to be relatively close, but still within the, their own folders and still easily accessible because uh, you're going to need to access it once you have it all downloaded. Once you have all figured out, make sure you are logged into any site that may be necessary at the top of the Wobbajack window by hitting the cogwheel icon at the very, very top corner, top right corner. Adjust what you need to or want to, but I personally only logged on to my Nexus Mods account because I don't have anything else and I the only other one I recognize is Lover's Lab and that's just a cesspool of, of sh shit I don't want to get fettled with because it's just not for me. But to each their own, to each their own. Do it do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> Just not for me. Once you have that figured out, go back and click the play button on the bottom right of the model list installer. It will then proceed to download everything, and I mean everything you need for the specific mod list. However, I want to give you a brief warning. If you do not have Nexus Premium for the bigger list, it will take a very, and I mean very, long time to download because it's going to do it one by one and with premium it downloads as many as it can at once so fair warning it's like a dollar just do it it's, it's a dollar i also want to make a quick note if a list has an update it will clear everything and treat it like a brand new install so fair warning if you're wanting to update a specific mod list and i think it might clear your save no that's a lie it won't i think i don't know but it will clear everything, so you'll have to go through the whole process again, basically. So I just recommend doing manual updates, if that's the case. But if it's not broken, don't fix it. Wise words, wise words. Now, after the installation is completed, you will need to remember where the installation location is. Go to that location, then open the Mod Manager, which should be the Mod Organizer 2 EXE. From here, you can select profiles from the mod list installation itself, or fully customize the mod list yourself uh, from the options they give you. Go through carefully and decide carefully on what you want within your specific playthrough. And some will say you pick one only, so heed those warnings, please. Now, if you want to install more mods, though, simply leave the mod manager open and download mods from Nexus and install it like normal in the downloads tab of the mod manager. It will clearly appear at the bottom of the list and for me I placed a spacer titled Soul BC Extras and installed mods that I was very familiar with and knew would work with the list from Kengar and Kite Kissed. I, I'm gonna guess that's the, what it is. I don't, I think that's the name. I, I hope, I hope I'm right but uh, I wouldn't doubt it if I was wrong with that name. Now if you decide to do this, do it at your own discretion. If it breaks, it is on you and no no one else. I want to make that very, very clear. If you break your installation, if you break your game through making your own, through putting your own mods into this mod list, it is on you and not me, nor the creators at all. It's all you. So if you break it, don't come crying, please. That's just, just rule of thumb. If you think it's not gonna work, don't do it. That, that's all I gotta say, really. Now, personally, I back this 100%, especially if you're new to modding and don't know a damn thing about anything in terms of the modding space. Once you get comfortable with a particular list, if you wanted to take a potential risk, you could add to that list that you're creating, which again, I somewhat, somewhat encourage to get your feet wet into the modding world because it's a good way to get started. But you also have to realize that you have to walk with discretion. And I want to say it again, if you screw up, it's on no one else but yourself. But it's a good way to get your feet wet if you want to expand a list and learn how to mod properly, I guess. It doesn't even have to be Skyrim VR. It can be Skyrim SE, AE, Fallout 4, Fallout 4 VR, etc. It's really a game of whatever you want to do. All the links will be down below to get you started. I encourage you to go to their Discord if you want help with Webajek or if you want to discuss other things within the topic of Webajek. And again, I encourage this 100% use Webajek if you don't know a goddamn thing about anything. Really, truly I do. Personally, I only use the Wobbajack list because, well, all of the mods from this particular list I normally use anyway, so it's a good start to get into. It's really easy and it saves me a lot of time. The only thing I have to do is download the extra stuff that are within my mod list or my RP. 
I hope this could help those of you get your foot in the door to modding your Skyrim VR or any other game using the amazing automated mod list, Wobbajack. If you want to support the creation of Wobbajack, there is a Patreon page and feel free to check their website, subreddit, and Discord as well. All links will be in the description. And if this was a simple solution you were looking for, please let me know in the comments. I genuinely want to know. I also want to thank my patrons and white team members for supporting me. You have given me more pride, more than you can ever know. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button so this can get to more viewers like yourselves and it helps me fight the Daedric entities called the YouTube algorithm because, well, they whack. <laughs> If you're interested in other VR content as well as hilarity, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of all of my future videos. Don't forget to join the Discord, my soul chamber. There you'll also be notified enough to deal with my content and be notified of any future events I plan to carry out there, like community streams and so on. You can also chat with myself and my fellow souls, whether it's about anime, art, or VR. Take a listen to the Compel Reality Podcast if you want to hear more VR scuff and news. And one last thing is to slay those dragons, become yourself dragonborn, and keep your soul free.